looking to expand operations in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, we have Mr. A.N. Gupta, Chairman and Managing Director of Premier Explosives, joining us on the phone line. Uh, so thank you very much. Good morning. Prashant here. So uh, you're looking to expand uh, over 200 odd acres of land in Chitur district of Andhra Pradesh. Uh, are you going to buy this land? You already own a part of it. Could you just give us some basic details to begin with? You see, you are doing OEM uh, project with um, ISO, uh, the Ishar, actually, Ari Kota. And uh, they are running out of um, uh, what they call step on motors because the activity, the space activities has increased. Instead of doing one in a quarter, they are doing one operation in every month. See, one launch every month, which means that, uh, you know, ultimately, they require more and more number of uh, um, you know, step-on motors. So they gave us a trial order for three numbers, that existing facility, with the existing um, uh, machinery and all that, that is going on. And that would be over in the next month. But in the meantime, we are trying to say that we'll put up a plant very close to your Shar facility. And uh, we got uh, 200 acres allotted by Andhra Pradesh government, mm. Mr. Naidu, who is uh, who's supposed to be very proactive and very nice, mm. which, uh, you know, Chief Minister, along with uh, our uh, Telangana uh, Chief Minister. Okay, so. And uh, we got 200 uh, odd um, acres. It is not exactly uh, finalized as you, it is Rauti Surumula. A village where we got this 200 odd acres. It is 200 to 250, it could be more. So, what uh, is your outflow in terms of this capex, sir? Uh, well, you see, at this place, uh, we would do something like if it is uh, four to five uh, rupees, um, lakh rupees per acre, you know, something like um, uh, 200 into five, that is uh, about 10, 10, 10 crores will go out okay. for the for the land, as well as another another 30 crores for the for the for the machinery. So it will be about 40 crores uh, because it will be um, uh, handling something like 1.2 diameter, which is uh, something like 15 tons of propellant every motor. Mm. And and uh, I mean, how long will you take to set up this facility? See, we hope that the land will be in our hand in uh, next. Uh, uh, two weeks or so, and as soon as the land comes into picture, uh, I think within one and a half year, one year uh, to one and a half year, he'll be mm. able to complete the and uh, move over facility or uh, uh, trials here. Okay. See, but uh, ISRO has got a very, very, uh, very strict uh, discipline of um, when I, um, uh, sort of uh, examining the quality of uh, the product from the factory. Hmm. So they will once again go for a static, uh, I hope it will be static uh, uh, test and uh, in this case it will take about one year uh, somewhere. Okay, so just moving away from this piece of news, uh, yeah. there were earlier comments from the management that you know you would like to expand as a company as a whole and maybe one way of doing that would be to induct a strategic investor. You'd probably look at uh, you know divesting around 10 to 20 percent equity. Uh, anything more that you can share with us on that? Where, does, where do those plans stand, if in case that's at least already on the table or still on the table? We, we don't want to take in another investor, key investor. Okay. Uh, we, uh, we have a professionally managed company with, uh, with uh, myself as chairman managing director and my deputy managing director, Mr. T.V. Chaudhary. Uh, last time, I think he came on the big on the TV uh, because I was uh, uh, out on tour. And the other people are there, uh, you know, down the line, right up to the bottom. You see, we have all the uh, commercial, uh, technically right. qualified people. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to take a key investor. We certainly want to go up to increase our capital from uh, present um, 9 crores to something like 80 crores. Mm. Uh, but uh, presently, the price is moving around 375, 340, 300, okay. 400, mm. and all that. So we would like to take as much as possible, probably half, 400 rupees as a minimum price. And we'd like, like to take it as, as, as many 
share as possible. And along with that, we'll also have a provincial share so that the existing... Sorry, Mr. Gupta, uh, Mr. Gupta, so what, you said 400. You, you, so you're planning to bring in someone and you'd expect at least 400? I'm sorry, I, uh, you don't know. We to... expect about minimum of 400. It can be upside of 400. It can be 425, depending mm. upon what is the market price. But uh, certainly, more than 400 rupees. Uh, uh, why, you, why are you so surprised about this? Because the company has been doing well. No, 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 I'm so not our, surprised. Our you're saying price uh, has been 530 fair, rupees. Absolutely. No, you're saying you are open to bringing in someone, but, uh, but somebody with a, with a good offer, right? That's what you're saying. Yeah, with good offer, yes, yeah. certainly. Okay, no, fair enough. Certainly. No. So but you're actively, you've appointed yeah. bankers, etc. You're looking out or? Uh, you, you're not We're actively pursuing. QIP. QIP. You see, he's not okay, a particular QIP. one person or oh, one QIP. company. Oh, QIP. Okay. We're looking at QIP. Okay. You know, the, the, the people with a faceless sort of a. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. By when will we uh, see and what size, person. sir? How much will you I dilute? Think. By when? How much will you raise and wh what? How much are you willing to dilute? You see, this uh, these things we cannot tell you right now. We can tell you only after after the board meeting for the test, but okay. uh, I can like, like to dilute and we take in uh, whatever maximum possible for our expansion plans at, at Caterpillar as well as at, at the new site. Fair at, enough. So. Just one yeah. last question. You know, Coal India, uh, I'm sure, is, is, is I mean, uh, demand from, from them, from Coal India, is slacked off. Uh, the power situation is not very great. Demand for coal is uh, not very good. Uh, yeah. Is ISRO, with all the... Uh, sort of private launches, etc. They're doing right yeah. uh, from uh, for space agencies around the world. Are they expected yeah. to uh, be a big contributor for as as a customer f to you over the years? Just a quick uh, word on that, sir. You see, what happens is Pool India has got their own target, mm. and Pool India has got nothing to do with the space. Mm. It's a totally independent. It depends on the fossil fuel, while in the in, in, the, in the space and all that, in, uh, in Char, uh, we are looking at uh, the greater aspect of uh, total galaxy and so on, and various methods of better methods and cheaper methods of communication. Sure. Mm. So it's but a total, totally, totally different uh, outlook. There's nothing common between Coal India. No, no, no. I'm not saying there's anything common. Uh, nothing between Coal India and space. <laughs> I was saying Coal India is not do. I mean, it's not going to be. There's not. We know. We all know there is no real uh, great demand for coal, right? So yeah, they're going to moderate little, their output. Will ISRO exactly? Will ISRO make up for that uh, 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 for for the lack of demand from Coal India? That was my question. You see, if the demand is higher than the last year, mm. certainly, but it is not as as high as I expected earlier, mm. because when the Mr. Um, um, our present uh, railway minister and also minister for electricity and power and all that, Mr. Suresh Prabhu took over. There was a shortage of coal, mm, yeah. and there was an import from uh, from Pi Indonesia and, Mr. Uh, and Goel, other, yes, yes, all other yeah. all other yeah. Asian countries. Mm. But while you know he has uh, um, sort of a streamline the movement of coal and all that, the present demand is is uh, like more like stable now. Okay, all right, Mr. Gupta, we're <laughs> going to let you go on that note. Thank you very much for joining in.